praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's uh, 4, 8, 16, a Friday at 1, 24 p.m., and that's Pacific Standard Time. I'm out here in Northern California on the West Coast. My spirit is grieved, and yet I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just ready to, to take a stand in the evil day and, and be a man of action for God, to be a doer of the word and not just a hearer only. The Lord has placed it upon my heart to go uh, stand against these archways of uh, the replica of the entrance to the Temple of Baal. And so uh, I'm calling others to join me. I'll travel all the way to New York. Uh, I'll bring anointing oil. I'll fast. And I'll march around this thing seven times if it's possible. I'll rebuke all evil and all forms of evil and unclean spirits. And I will be praying in the spirit as I do so and listening to worship music. And if the Lord wills this, I'm asking other people to join me. I'm, I'm serious. This is just something that needs to be done. This is the area right in here. So, so let me show you something here. I'm reading this article at CBN News. What I'm trying to find right now is where the other 1,000... Uh, archers are going to go this is just ridiculous i mean to not do anything as a christian is uh just uh, unacceptable to me so uh what they're doing is promoting a false god this is cbn news and just so people know uh, why christians are so upset about this because uh ritualistic bell worship in some would look like this adults would gather around the altar of ba baal Infants would then be burned alive. Is everybody okay with this? That they want to give this glory? Infants would be burned alive as a sacrificial offering to the deity amid horrid screams and the stints of charred human flesh and congregants, men and women alike, would engage in bisexual orgies. And, and, and here's the thing. Uh, here, here's the thing. That stench rose up to the nostrils of God. Just as the stench of this action is rising up to the nostrils of God, I assure you that God will smite and crush and destroy these arches. Whew. They'll march around it seven times like they did in, 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 uh, in Jericho and the walls came down. I stand against this... Uh, Institute for Digital Archaeology, and, and I stand against firmly the UNESCO and the United Nations that are in this area. Um, uh, you know, the this would have had to have been approved by the state of New York, the governor, the mayor. Uh, this would have had to have been approved by Washington, D.C., and Obama, and, uh, and this is just... Uh, this is just evil is what it is. Uh, they're talking about putting a thousand of these things up. And what, you know, just like George Bush, when he introduced the New World Order, he said a thousand points of light. You don't find it's a coincidence that the number they've put on this is a thousand. So look, look at this. This is what it'll look like. It's uh, being reconstructed by a 3D printer. They've actually, they're, they're excited about this and putting it in London too. They have a countdown timer on this thing. They're counting it down. Let me refresh it so you can see the, the timer. It's just counting down. 10 days, 21 hours, and 32 minutes. Let's enter the site and see if they have any update. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this video. It's just an, an initial uh, uh, thing to let people know. And uh, if anyone hears where the their other ones uh, might be going, uh, I'm telling you, I stand against this. And, and, uh, and God, uh, uh, he is not happy. So uh, this is nothing surprising to me. I took a look at my videos and I just put the word New York. And I was looking for uh, warnings God had given me about New York. And it goes all the way back to 2012, people. This didn't surprise God, and it didn't surprise me, and it shouldn't surprise you. Going back here in October, New York, uh, 
this is the one that really struck me the stock market this is the one that really struck me was uh, right here May 28 2013 at 10 22 a.m. Uh, I made a video that said evil New York leaders are planning a false flag and God is calling you to repent I haven't watched this yet but but does the map look familiar I mean does <laughs> telling you saints this is a there's just so many of these videos there's a there's biblical precedents for doing this I'm gonna put a link and I ask everybody to read 1 Kings 18 about how uh, they, they built an altar to Baal and Elijah built an altar to God and uh, they both prayed and called the people in Baal called on to their false God and, and Elijah called on to the real God the creator of everything on earth above earth and below earth and he called fire down from the heaven and it consumed his altar and everybody there that was worshiping Baal was destroyed I am convinced that these altars will be destroyed now I'm going in peace I'm going in peace, but I'm telling you, Jesus Christ is coming as a roaring lion, the lion of the tribe of Judah, and uh, anybody willing, I'm just putting this out there as a feeler, I'm probably looking at uh, the, the first or second or third week in May, I'd like to coordinate other people and have a hundred of us there, have a hundred of us there, I'm, I'm telling you, I... I we got to choose you today whom we're going to serve. And I, I, I'm even thinking about live streaming this. I mean, imagine right now people around the world are looking at Christianity and saying, why aren't they doing something about these evil temples being built up? Well, we're going to show them that we do, but we don't, that we act in peace. We're not going to go down there and tear it down. We're going to go down there and pray God brings it down. There's a difference. Anointing oil. Uh, worship music the media filming this live streaming it the whole world showing us that there's a remnant that's not willing to bow down to the satanic new world order beast system or temples and arches of Baal that we don't want it here we don't want it in the United States we the people this is our country not your country these elected officials need to be booted out but we all know that, that that's just simply not going to happen. Time is too short. But at least we could have said that we did all we could and took a stand for Jesus in front of the whole world. I'm going. Anybody with me? We'll set a date and we'll make this happen. And, and God will be pleased. And God will act on our prayers as they line up with his will. Shalom.